हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टू एक्सेबल इंजीनियरिंग तो आज का अब हमारा टॉपिक जो है दैट इज़ हाउ डू वी मेक अ रेक्टेंगल्स इन ऑटो कैट ओके सो हाउ डू वी मेक रेक्टेंगल्स द कमांड फॉर रेक्टेंगल्स इज आर ई सी इजी कमांड करेक्ट एंड वेड वी फाइंड रेक्टेंगल इन द रिबन हियर दिस इज आवर रेक्टेंगल सो है गो वील टेक द रेक्टेंगल कमांड and we'll draw a rectangle it will ask us it will prompt us to specify a point on the screen as you can see so it is uh, telling me that uh, specify the first coordinate point so here i go now it is asking me to specify the other coordinate point so here i go or else what can i do i can just specify a coordinate point and then i can just right click and i'll get these options here area dimensions and rotation and the similar options are available in the command line okay so for example i know the area of my rectangle and i also know one dimension of my rectangle okay for example i want to make a room and i have got only 10 feet uh 10 feet dimension is something that i know that the one feet one dimension of my room is 10 feet and i know that the area of my room is say uh 200 square feet fine so i can use the area command but before doing that i'll just change the units first to architectural to this and okay and now what i'll do rec enter i'll specify a point here and i'll go in the area correct now it is asking me to specify the um, you know uh, area of the rectangle in square inches so as i said 200 square feet so if i have to change that into inches so that means a bit of a calculation okay so 200 square feet is approximately 2880 28800 square inch so this is my uh, area of the rectangle and i'll press enter and now it is asking me calculate the rectangle dimensions based on yes i want to calculate it on the basis of length now it is asking me to specify the rectangle length now i'll specify my rectangle length as 10 feet enter now here you go this is your rectangle of one side as 10 feet and the area of uh, 200 square feet and the other dimension has been calculated by the autocad by the obvious formula of uh, area is equal to length cross breadth so this is how you can put in you can make a rectangle when you know the area of your uh, place and uh, one dimension okay so the other method of using the rectangle is suppose i want to make a plan i want to make a house plan of area let's say 35 feet cross 40 feet so what will i do i'll just specify a point on the screen and i'll go in the dimensions here and i'll give the first dimension to be 35 oops 35 feet enter and the other dimension to be 40 feet enter and here you go you have got a plan now just remember this thing that autocad takes the dimensions for rectangle in the format of horizontal cross vertical means this is 30 feet and this is 40 feet correct and the other thing that you can do is that you can just provide some rotation to your rectangle if you want for example i can just manually rotate it like this or i can just type in some value say i want to rotate it at 60 degree angle now it will be rotated in 60 degree in any quadrant that you want see and unless and until you don't provide the rotation angle back to 0 degree your rectangle command whenever active will give you a rectangle at 60 degree inclination okay suppose ab maine command escape kar liya and i'll take a rectangle here and i'll make it so it will be made at 60 degree angle so what i need to do is i need to put a rotation of 0 degree enter and now i'm good to go other than this what do we see we see certain options here chamfer elevation fillet thickness width now what do we mean by these things we'll see Although we have to study chamfer and fillet here also in the modify panel, but let me just show you uh, this uh, here also. Now this is chamfer, elevation, fillet, thickness, and width. Now let's go with the chamfer thing. I'll make a rectangle, okay? Or let me just make a rectangle here, and I'll give a chamfer. Now it is asking me to give the first chamfer distance for rectangle. Now let me give the first chamfer distance of rectangle to be three feet. enter and the second chamfer distance is 4 feet enter now if i make a rectangle now you can see here it is chamfered now the two distances that it asked me were this this distance and this distance 3 feet 4 feet and this distance 
okay so it calculates the chamfer distance by that formula hypotenuse is equal to under root of length square plus breadth square okay so it asks you for the length it asks you for the breadth and then it chamfers your object like as you can see here also this is four this is three and here you go now if you want to fillet it now what does the chamfer give you the chamfer give you the sharp edges correct now if you want to uh, if you want to have round edges now then what will you do you'll go into fillet you will specify the radius now let me specify the radius of 10 feet say and i'll make a rectangle you can see that you have got a rounded corners here okay what you can do is that you can also just for example you have made it you have made something like this something like this and something like this and then you want to join these two lines you can use fillet command here also use fillet command then what can you do is that you can put radius of zero feet and then you can select this line and this line by this way you can fillet and get sharp corners also okay other than that what do we have in the rectangle command we have got width suppose i want my rectangle to be say one feet uh, uh to be of one uh, feet width see we can just go here and oops i'll make it again here i have got a rectangle of one feet width this and we'll see this width thing we have seen this width thing in polylines too correct so this is about it now what else do we have we have thickness and we have elevation now we need to explore these two options that is elevation and thickness now let me uh, inform you people that this elevation and thickness is a concept of autocad 3d but still i'll give you an idea what does this mean elevation means as the word says how high is this figure from this ucs how high this figure is from the base suppose i want to give the elevation to this rectangle of 100 feet and i'll press ok and i'll make a rectangle oops now let me make it again a little bit mm, yeah perfect and i'll make it okay i'll just delete it here and now what will i do i do the southwest isometric why has my rectangle been like this because i also filleted the edges now i'll go here in the southwest isometry and here you can see here you can see that this is your ucs icon correct and this rectangle is at a distance of 100 feet from the base so this is what you mean by the elevation that when you see it in the front view it is at a distance of 100 feet from the ground level this is what you mean by the elevation and the last thing that we need to see is that we need to see is the thickness what basically this thickness is suppose i want to give a thickness of say 10 feet and now i'll make a rectangle oops this <clears throat> and i'll delete these two things now i'll again go in the southwest isometric now as you can see here as you can see here ek to humne isme elevation 100 feet diya hua tha that is why this is high from this line from this ucs icon and other than that i have given it a uh, uh, thickness of 10 feet that is why in uh, you know in the uh, southwest isometric uh, view you can see that it has got a slight thickness ye thoda mota hai otherwise if you just put it to zero if you just put uh yeah delete kar deti ho or aap uh is me th uh, thickness jo hai wo zero de deti ho and aap elevation bhi zero de deti ho so this is how your rectangle is if you give a thickness and elevation of zero see you're just a rectangle in the top view as you can see or in the isometric view that's it no thickness no elevation so this is all about rectangle in the autocad command now I'll meet you in the next lecture till then keep practicing